The usual process for using icons within Webflow can be a bit of a hassle. Usually you'll have to go and find an icon pack online, you'll download it, you'll drop it into a program that you use like Figma, recolor it, upload it to Webflow. And so though that way of working with icons is straightforward, it's not as flexible as it could be. So the alternative is using an icon font within Webflow. I'm gonna show you how you can download an icon font, use it within Webflow, and then even create a symbol so that you can change the icon and color at any time throughout your project. So here's my project inside of Webflow. And if I scroll down, I have a section that I wanna add icons to just above the titles. And so in this case, I'm gonna use Google's material icons. So there's a whole bunch of different icons that I can choose from uh, in the font. I can also you know, download different styles. We can do filled, outline. So there's plenty of options to actually use for using this icon font. First thing I'm gonna do is download it. So I'm gonna to go to the Git repository and then I'm gonna go into the font and with a couple of different styles, there's a couple of different downloads. And so we'll download the round one, but you can also download the sharp one or the outlined one. Grab this one and hit download. And once that's downloaded, we can go into our project settings, go to our fonts, and then upload a custom font, which is the material icons. And once that's uploaded, we can rename it. And the reason we're renaming it in capitals is just because lowercase won't show up uh, in the actual title. So uh, by making it capitals, we can actually see the title. Now we'll pop back into the designer now that we've added it. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a text span in, which is where we're gonna add the actual icon font to. So we'll go to add elements and we'll add in a text block just above the title. And then we'll give this a class of material icon. And we'll change the font to be the icon font that we were looking at before. And so it's gonna look a bit funny, but don't worry about that, we'll fix that now. So we'll go back to Google Fonts and we'll, we'll select an icon that we wanna use. Let's just try this verified one for now. So we can click on this and then we'll copy this piece of text. We'll copy it here, go back to our project and then paste in that text. And already the icon is actually working. Now what we might wanna do is style it so it fits into the page a little bit better. We'll add some padding underneath it. We'll make it a little bit bigger. Maybe let's try 50 pixels. Make sure that the height is right and we'll just make sure that it's centered and then we'll just recolor it as well. And since we're using an icon font, we can recolor it at any point to any color that we want. So let's just put the blue for now. And so now we have an icon that's from the icon font that we can change the size of at any time, change the color of, but more importantly, we can change this icon at any time. So we can go back in and select another one such as date range and we'll copy this text and we'll double click on this and paste that in. Now, since this icon is actually made up of text, it still is a little buggy if you try and work around with it. And there actually is a good way of fixing that. So what we'll do is we'll turn this icon into a symbol that we can reuse anywhere where we want to reuse the icon. So we'll right click on this, we'll create a symbol, we'll call this material icon, create symbol, and now we're gonna set up an override for this text. And we'll call the override icon text, create and link. And now when I click out of this and I have a look at it, I can see that the actual text for the icon is inside of the instance override, which means to override the icon, all I need to do is paste something different into this space here. So if I copy and paste this icon, I put one here, and I do it one more time and I put one here. And now I have a look for some different icons that I might wanna use. Maybe I'll try this one, copy that in, Go back and I can just paste it here and it's gonna update automatically. We'll do it one more time. Grab this explore, copy here, go back in and then I'll just paste it here. So now that I've set up the symbol, I can use icons across my site as much as I want without having to worry about hundreds of different icons cluttering my assets library. And that is the easy way of working with icons inside of Webflow.